Today we're going to be working on drawing isometric circles. So we're going to draw this figure here which has um, various isometric circles. It's important to know that in isometric circles no longer look circular. They are elliptical in shape. So in order to draw this figure here, first we will draw the figure without the circles. Then we're going to place the circles in. To place the circle, we need to first find the centers of the circle. This is our radius 32 circle. I'm going to come to my center point here and type in 32. So there is the center for my isometric circle. Then I'm going to go to ellipse. Remember it's ellipse tool. It's elliptical. I'm going to select the second one which is axis N. Very important, it's going to ask if it's arc center or iso circle. We're going to choose I for iso circle. Then I'm going to come to the center point and I'm going to pull my circle. Now, if the circle is not in the plane that you want, we press F5 to change the plane of the circle and then. We draw our circle back to our start point. Let me just change the layer that we're working in here. All right. So that's our circle. Now, when you're drawing it's a semicircle, so what we would have to use is trim and we're going to trim off this half of the circle that we don't want. Now circles usually work in pairs, they give a height, so we're going to copy the circle that we have here, the semicircle, and I'm going to copy it from to the, from the midpoint to the midpoint below. So there I have my second circle. Now, the circle at the bottom is no longer semicircle. Let me just oops, change the line type here. And I'm going to connect this with a straight line. And I'm going to trim off the excess. I'm going to use that line to trim. And so we would have completed that front part there. And similarly for all the other circles, we're going to do the same. So there is a diameter 40 circle on that same, plate, same center. Now let's just understand radius is for when you have parts of a circle diameter so when you have the whole circle so I'm going to go back to again axis N select my center oops what did I forget the I so axis N I enter select and if the circle is not in the correct plane what do we press Function 5 to get it in the correct plane. Then we enter our distance. Now, although this is a diameter 40 circle, we're going to enter 20 for the radius to get our circle. It's still diameter 40, but it's radius 20. And it has a height of 10. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line ten. Same, I'm going to do it from the center, and that's going to give me the height where I'm going to copy this circle to a height of ten. I'm going to also 
connect the endpoints. And let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to trim to make it look like a cylinder. And then we have our figure taking shape. We draw any sides. Then there is a smaller circle on top. That one is diameter. I didn't put any diameter there, but it's going to be diameter 20. Axis end. I enter. Choose the center point. F5 to make sure you get it into the right plane. And this time I'm going to type 5. Enter. Oops. It's actually 10. Just remember. Axis N, I, Enter. 1, 10. Enter. All right. So that's radius 10. To get the circle on top, we do the same thing. Let me just get a center line. Let's get a line. This radius is also 32, so I'm going to get that in there. Center axis, I, enter. Choose my center point. And the radius is going to be 32, but F5 for the plane, enter my radius. And there we go. Let's put that back to the correct line type. And trim. Use my sides to trim. in the copy from front to the back and join with a line I'm joining with a line and trim So we could draw in some other lines here. All right, any similar things for the holes? Now, if you notice, it could either be a cylinder or a hole. This is also a hole, you just can't see the bottom. This is a hole where you can see straight through. So we draw, we have the outer and the inner piece of the hole. Axis N, I enter. This is a diameter 40 hole, I need to fix that. It goes back. The thickness of the material in this case is going to be 20. It's 
So I get the center for the second circle and I copy the first. Choose the center point to the second. And then I trim. Use the first circle in front to trim the one in the back. Then I can remove all these additions that will help me. And that's it. Constructing an isometric drawing with isometric circles.